Hi, it's Jack, Tiny Trailer, October 30th, 2013. I'd like to show you the trailer I just completed for Susie and Kay of Twist, Washington. Like all my trailers, they have an anodized aluminum exterior with vintage aluminum trims on all exposed edges. Powder coated fenders. 15 inch tires with chrome rims and moons. County trailer comes with doors on both sides. You don't have to crawl over your mate to get in and out of this trailer. This trailer has a fantastic three speed roof fan unit. It'll pull air in or out of the trailer. Works really nice. I just love the looks of the tiny trailer. I could have designed any trailer I wanted. This was the trailer I wanted. And I designed it for my wife and I to use behind our 2004 Subaru Outback wagon and I've been building them ever since. We outfit these trailers with everything you need. There's no extras on this trailer. It comes with a Coleman steel belted ice chest on the front. It comes with the cushions. It comes with the stove. Everything you need. I weld up the the frames and the chassis myself. I get the steel powder coated. It's better for the environment. It's better for me. Believe it or not, I even use made in the USA steel. That pile of tubing right there will be my next trailer starting tomorrow. We put LED lighting on them now. Let me show you inside of this trailer. Inside the light woods maple or birch, the dark woods cherry. It's got a maple ceiling. In the back of the trailer, your, your feet go underneath the two shelves. The shelves have cherry nosing in the front. You can put your duffels up there or your clothes at night. We outfit the doors with locks curtain rods. Again, this unit has a fantastic three-speed roof vent. That vent will open and uh, pull air either in or out of the trailer. Trailers come with a, a reading lamp, two cigarette lighter plugs where you charge your phone. And remember, I, I told you all the edges were sealed with trim, including the door edges. We outfit the trailers in, with Sombrella Marine fabric. I get them in a tweed pattern. This stuff's really durable. I mean, it's what they use in boats, in marine environments. We have a false floor. Four and a half inches of space down here. On one side, we put our fly rods and fishing gear. On the other side, we put our, all our camping gear. We get our REI alcove shelter and screen house and roll up Alps table and just everything on the other side. I just think these trailers are cool and I am really proud of my craftsmanship and design. You see that? You see how easy that, that went up and down? Get it to about here, closes itself. Just give it a little push. Hear that click? Sounds good. Let's let her go. Again, the light woods, maple or birch. Then we have the cherry. This cherry in time will amber up just like a beer bottle and it'll just look so rich and beautiful. The countertops. I import the wildest pattern I can find. And the only reason I import it is that it's the wildest pattern I can find. It's, uh, we do it either in the khaki or the blue. But to me, this is, like I've said so many times, it's just like a birthday party. And whenever I get to go camping, to me, it's, it's a party. Again, people call me and say, what about the extras? There's no extras. I even include the starter set of dishes in the custom dish rack. We now even include a paper towel holder. If you're one of those people who like to open drawers, kick them around, see how they feel, I invite you to open up one of my drawers. Remember, I owned a custom cabinet business for 27 years. I build these trailers all by myself. 
start to finish, no help, except Annie, she's the best salesperson I know. If you've watched that video from King 5 where they interviewed me at the RV show, I went and looked at that most expensive RV in the, in the show they were talking about. And I opened the drawer and the first thing I noticed, it didn't have any finish on the drawer. You might have been able to save 130000 or whatever on that, that day on that trailer, but it still didn't have any finish on the drawer. But looking down the side of it, it must have 20 staples too. The products I use for finish are low in formaldehyde and you will not find anything more durable. Here's the RV battery. Right here we've got the, I slide that switch. I pull out the Coleman cook stove. That same slide bolt that held it in, holds it out. Did I mention, I even include the stove. You don't need any extras with a tiny trailer. I build these trailers. I build the tiny trailer just the way you want it. There's no choice, this is just the way you want it. Let's look underneath. Underneath I include a spare tire. I'm not saying I want to get down to it, but it's there if you need it. Got a rear stabilizing jacks. Check out what I do on the edges of the trailer. That's two coats of West System epoxy. In the bottom, high density plywood. Three quarter inch high density plywood. That's what they use for concrete forms. It's three quarter exterior plywood and they've pressed on a phenolic resin, which is just like plastic laminate. You're not gonna wear that stuff out. All the edges are trimmed out. You know, I don't mount these gas shocks on the side like some manufacturers, so they'll rip out. I, I do all my work for no callbacks. 27 years of building cabinets for banks, doctors, clinics. You don't stay in business unless you handle the details. When you're ready for a tiny trailer, please give me a call. Thank you very much.